Hey everyone, so I'm super excited to show you this new set. It's called All Wrapped Up, and it is a Christmas set, and of course it has some birds on it because you know me and birds. So there is lots of really cute ways that you can use this. Here's the branch, and there's a few leaves, and leaves with uh, berries. There's a couple snowflakes, and of course there's a bird with a scarf, a bird with a sweater, and boots, and um, just some birds and a bunch of birds on a branch. The sentiments that you get in this set are merry and bright and peace on earth. And today I'm going to be using these three birds right here. So I just have some watercolored paper. I'm going to be using the verse finite because I'm going to be using watercolors. So I am just going to stamp up. Okay, so I just have this piece of vellum and it is two and a half inches by four inches. And I'm going to take it and put it into this Sizzix Snowflake um, embossing folder. Instead of running it through my die cutting machine, I'm going to take a rubber mallet and hit it a few times. Now this is going to be loud, but I just want some really light embossing. I don't want it very thick. Okay, there you can see that it just did some random um, embossing where I wanted just a little bit of the um, embossed. I didn't want the whole thing to be embossed, which I really kind of like the look of. So all you do is take a rubber mallet. You can do this with paper, vellum, anything, and you just basically hit it where you want the randomness to be, and it works awesome. Then I'm going to take and, let's see, I think I'll have this as my bottom. So I'm going to go up right there and make a banner. Now my three images are done drying. So I have, this is a one and three eighths inch punch from Stampin' Up. And I'm going to use this and go in here and grab this little image and punch it out. Same with this. Little guy here. And then this one, I'm going to use the one and a quarter inch. You know what I noticed about these watercolors, which I really, really like, is it leaves almost like this little sheen, this pearl essence sheen. I absolutely am in love with this. I think the banner might be just a little too wide. I'm actually going to take and just trim it down. Okay, so now I know where this, these pieces are going to be, so I'm going to strategically place adhesive underneath where um, my circles are going to be on my vellum. Place that down and then take some foam adhesive and place it on the back of each one of these little circles. I'm going to use the sentiment Merry and Bright, which I think goes perfect with the bright colors that we just used on all these cute little birds. I'm just going to take some washi tape and tape off the word bright. I'm going to use VersaFine ink. Ink this up. And don't forget to take off this piece of washi before you stamp down. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> and then I'm going to stamp this down. and clean off the stamp really well and make sure it's dry before you move on to do your next stamp. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing but I'm going to now washi tape over the Mary and the and. I have the My Favorite Thing Razzleberry and this seriously is one of my favorite bright pink colors. It is so awesome. So I'm going to ink it up really well and then take off that washi tape and then line this up. Sorry if my head gets in the way. And 
And there we have the Merry and Bright Sentiment. Now I feel like it just needs something, a little bit something extra. And this is not stuck down up here with the glue. So what I'm going to do is take and do a really thin, really thin strip of adhesive. So I have this um, Twisted Teal Trendy Twine. And I am going to open my card. and wrap it around the front a few times. Now I'm going to tie the bow, which I tie my bows a little bit different. So I take and tie under once, and then take your right piece and go under again. And this is how my grandpa taught me, and it keeps it really taut so you don't have to have anything to hold it. And then tie a knot and that'll keep your string exactly where you want it. And then tie a little bow, cut off the end pieces. I hope that you got inspired to go and create something that's perfectly imperfect and go try out a new technique using the hammered selective embossing technique. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.